Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew back again with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to recover files off of a formatted SD card. So I'm sure that you've been there as much as I have, especially if you're a YouTuber or anyone who works with content, is that you have something on an SD card and you've accidentally formatted it and now you are saying this to yourself. I am like really dumb. I am really dumb. Like. Why would I even think? Well, there's no need to fear because today I'm going to be teaching you how to recover files off of an SD card. So let's get into it. So when you format an SD card, it may seem like the files are completely gone off of the card, like there's nothing left in it, but they aren't. So really what happens is the files are no longer visible to the naked eye, but the data still exists. It's all still on the card. It's just not accessible through the normal process of copying, pasting, etc. So really what formatting does is it just gives the card the go ahead to go ahead and overwrite the files that are already on the card with new ones that you happen to transfer to and from the card on a day-to-day -day basis. Say, by your camera, for instance. Now that was a very, very basic rudimentary explanation of that, but Vsauce has made an amazing video called Where to Deleted Files Go, which you can go check that out in the description on his channel. I think it's a great video and you should really watch it if you really want to get some more information on where deleted files go. And this includes formatting. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the program, Recuva. Okay, so I know the name is a little bit odd, but it's made by a company called Puriform. They are known for a lot of their PC cleaning, adware removal type of tools that are sold and given away for free, but there are some premium features involved. However, luckily for us, Recuva is mostly free and all the features that are free will allow us to obtain all the files that we previously deleted off of our SD card. So that's a plus. So really in short, what this program is going to do is it's going to scan the card it's going to let you know what files are and what files aren't recoverable, and then from there you can recover them to a certain directory on your computer. So in my case, I stupidly formatted an SD card with a couple of audio files on it that belonged to my short film, and I actually needed them even when I didn't think I did. So let's see what this program can do to save me. So I'll be including a link down in the description to where you can download and install Recuva, but once you've done that, go ahead and open it up. So you'll be greeted with a pretty basic and easy to understand interface. And I'm glad for that because I'm terrible at figuring these things out myself. So at the top you have things such as the directory that you wish to scan for files, a button that will specify whether or not you wish to scan for files or contents, and then an options menu, but we won't be messing with any of that today. So in my personal scenario, my SD card directory is the I directory. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that just like this. And then what I'm going to do is press the scan button. So once you have your directory selected, just go ahead and press scan. So when the first time you press scan, especially if it's a removable drive, chances are it will not come up with anything. But there's no need to worry because if you press OK, it will go ahead and do a deep scan. So this takes a bit longer. For my 16 gigabyte drive, it took about 10 to 7 minutes, somewhere in there. But it ended up finding all of the files that were missing from my SD card and after that, we're almost done with the recovery process. Now, even if the quick scan or the scan that came before the deep scan did find something, I would highly recommend you do the deep scan anyway, just because if you don't do the deep scan, you might miss a couple little things that are hidden in there, maybe some fragments of something that you might not wanna miss. So I would recommend doing a deep scan anyway, just in case. All right, so now once it's done, this should be a very happy thing because now we have all or at least some of the files that we wanted to recover from the SD card. And now we're at the final step. So basically what you'll see is a list of all the files that Recuva has been able to recover off the drive. And so now what you can do is you can check all the little files that you want or you can press the top check mark if you want all the files to be selected and recovered. And then you can go down to the bottom right hand corner where it says recover and then press the recover button. All right, so now last but not least, it will ask you to choose a recovery directory, which basically means it's going to export all of these files to this one location. So in my case, just for ease of use, I always export things to my desktop just so I know exactly where they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my desktop and press okay. So after choosing the output destination, Recuva will begin to recover all of those files, which really shouldn't take too long. It of course depends upon their size and what format they are. But once that's done, they're recovered. So touching real quick, just on performance, I was really, really happy to see that all the files that were recovered by Recuva were flawless. Everything sounded perfect as though it came straight from the device that I recorded them from. And I was really, really happy that this product is not only quality and easy to use, 
but also free. So unfortunately though, you do not get the full package with just the free download. If you pay the extra $24, you do get some additional premium features. I'm not entirely sure what that includes, but if you're looking for something a bit more, chances are that's where you'll find it. Now real quick before this video ends, I just want to say that I was not sponsored by Puriform or Recuva or anything in this video. This is just my pure opinion, I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video, but I am not sponsored by them at all. I was actually looking for something to recover files from an SD card, and this is what worked best for me. So if this helped you, please, please be sure to leave a comment down below telling me so. And also, if you enjoy this tutorial and you wanna see more like this one, then please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And also, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you guys would like to help me along on that journey, please, please be sure to subscribe down below. I will be coming out with new videos very shortly. And with that being said, my name is Andrew, and until next time, thank you for watching.